Hey guys, MDX Music here, and I wanted to show you a few things today about our audio and MIDI features using Mapping Tonal Harmony Pro 8.5.1. We're gonna show you uh, Bluetooth, uh, AirPlay, uh, audio out using interface, and MIDI. A few features related to all of those above things. So first, we'll show you that we're basically, right now, we're just playing out of the device that we have. But what if I wanna to connect to a Bluetooth speaker, which we have over here, I merely go to my Bluetooth settings uh, up here and select the device that I want to connect to. In this case, it's our, our Sony Bluetooth speaker. Click on that, give it a second, and there we are. We are connected now. When I play my chords, they're going to come out of our Bluetooth speaker right over there, as you can hear, clear as day. And this feature obviously applies whether I'm using the map or uh, the play along itself. So there you have it, Bluetooth speaker. Let's talk about AirPlay. So we're gonna use an Apple TV as our AirPlay device, but obviously this would work with your AirPods as well. So let's go to our AirPlay feature right here. I'm gonna click on that icon right there and then connect to, in this case, like we said, the Apple TV. Now, anytime I play something, it's going to come out through our TV or our AirPlay device. And again, the play along also works while connected to the AirPlay. Awesome. So now let's dive into audio out. So for the audio out feature and the MIDI that we're gonna talk about, we're gonna need an audio interface. In our situation here, we're gonna go with the iRig. It has all of the outputs and inputs that you would need to do anything we're gonna talk about today. So I already have my external speakers here hooked into the iRig. One of the cool things about this version of Mapping Tonal Harmony Pro is if I press play, uh, not hooked up to anything, so just using the iPad audio right now and the onboard speakers. And then I decide, hey, let me actually hook this up to my speakers. The second I do that, uh, that will be detected and the song will stop, count back in, and start over through the, through the device that we've now connected to. So for MIDI out, we're also going to use our iRig, some sort of audio interface that lets our iPad communicate with the MIDI device, whether that be a, uh, a keyboard or a sampler, or in our case, we're going to use a DAW like Logic Pro. You could use GarageBand or, or anything else. So first thing we're going to do is tell uh, Mapping Tonal Harmony to output the sound to MIDI. So we're going to enable MIDI out. Now all sound is now not going to, be, it's being bypassed via our device into our IRA, which is now going into our computer. So we already have our three channels set up here for the piano, the bass, and the drums. So one of the things you have to do first uh, is assign the appropriate channels to each instrument. Our piano is channel one. So make sure we change it from MIDI channel all to one. We want to select the bass channel to channel three. So we're going to go from all to three and our drums will be going to channel 10. All right. So after we've done that, we need to go into the file, file settings here. I need to get into my, my project settings so that I can get into the recording options here. This is important because what I need to do is select the auto demix by channel. All right, this is going to parse things out so that it's not all one jumbled mess. So from there, I can now select how many of the tracks I wanna hear at any given moment. So if I just wanna hear the piano, I highlight the piano record, and now when I play on the map, all I'll hear is the piano. If I wanna hear the piano and the bass, I can select both. Now the sound is a bit more full. I can hear the bass now. So let's highlight all three drums, bass, piano, and press play on the play along and see what happens. So now everything is going through Logic Pro right now. 
which is cool because now I can customize the sound of any of their instruments uh, to sound whatever I want them to sound like. So let's, I don't know, let's change the piano to uh, bebop organ. So now that I've selected my bebop organ, I have to make sure to reset the channel back to one. And now when I press play on the play along, I have the same play along track with different instrumentation. You can also interface with the map. You can do this with any of the instruments too, by the way, the bass or the drums. But you can also interface with, uh, with the map in the same way. Let's go, I don't know, let's say I wanted to use strings, authentic strings on our map. Reallocate the channel again to channel one. And now when I interact with the map, I get a nice, cool, sustained string sound on any of the chords that I select. All right, so there you have it. All of the new audio and MIDI features now available on Mapping Tonal Harmony Pro 8.5.1. We hope that was helpful. If you have any more questions about Mapping Tonal Harmony Pro, hit us up in the comments down below and let us know what you're curious about and we'll do our best to answer you guys. Like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Thanks again for watching. Mapping Tonal Harmony Pro's smart AI players allow you to experience a completely unique performance every time you press play. Mapping Tonal Harmony, the best music app ever created. Download it now on the App Store.